so it's official apple is actually going to be going away from their intel chip which they've been using for so many years was their line of macbooks and now they're going to be going into their own business of making their own cpus with the arm silicon chip but is that a good move or is it a bad move well we know they're going to be doing it as it's been already released in the previous apple launch event on back on june 22nd so it's anybody's guess but today in this video we're going to actually going to talk about it together and see if we can actually make sense of what's going on and to see if it was either an up or down move for the apple so stay tuned Hey guys, this is Darren with Everyman Tech, your one-stop shop for tech reviews and how-to videos. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the ARM Silicon chip, which is set to debut sometime these upcoming months or maybe early 2021. Right now, it's anybody's guess as we're just getting leak reports. So it's nothing official yet, but we do know that Apple has stated that they will be releasing, releasing their new Silicon chip which is set to replace their Intel chips in their current MacBook and iMac computers. And I'm totally blown away by it, and, but I can't say that I'm surprised. So, so follow with me and we, as we discuss the pros and cons and just some facts behind the what's going on or what should we be expecting in these upcoming months. So if you, Definitely subscribe to be notified of all new future content and definitely hit that like icon and I'll definitely appreciate your support. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's begin with what we know so far. Now the news first broke about the new ARM silicon chip back in the keynote event back on June 22nd. And this was no, was no surprise. We all knew it was coming, but we also didn't know that uh, and during the event that the actual transition period from Apple moving away from Intel to the new ARM chip from their own product, which was going to take a full two years. So one have to ask themselves, even though they said it's going to be coming up soon and they said, but they also said it's going to be actually a two year wait into when it's actually going to be permanent or to what actually was going to be for full effect so it's only one guess at this point now according to leak reports it is said that the announcement for the arm macbook should be coming up around november 17th so we should definitely get an announcement notification if it's true or the week prior and that was said to be around november 10th when they'll actually announce the date of their keynote event for the arm macbook so there you got that now let's get a recap of actually what's already out so we can actually get an understanding of where apple is going with the development of their arm silicon chip so currently macbook we have the macbook pro 16 and 13 inch and we also have the ipad pro now you might be wondering why did i mentioned ipad pro in the uh, mac conversation well you'll see why in a minute but first let's go talk about the macbook pro 13 and 16 inch now without putting you to sleep with all the whole list of the actual tech specs i'll actually have those listed in, within in this video but first we want to mention that the fact that the macbook pro 16 inch is utilizing intel's i7 and i9 chips options while the macbook pro 13 inch is actually utilizing the intel's i5 and i7 chipsets now the different um it's good to mention too that the 13 inches what those chips says are quad core while the macbook pro 16 inch is actually using the six core i7 and the eight core i9 and i'll have the prices listed along with those options within this video so but it's also good to mention too that you keep that in mind was the tech specs of these um particular computers because now when they're going with the actual their own chips with the sil arm silicon you will actually going to notice and according to the leak reports as well i discussed first in this video you'll actually see that they're actually going to be changing up things a little bit and 
and I mean a little bit, maybe a lot of it, but you, I'll let you make that determination, but you'll also see what I'm talking about as we go along. But now we're going to actually be talking about what we know from the reports, of the leak reports with the silicon chip as a whole. Now, first we're going to begin with just the sheer architecture of how the, the core um, is actually put together. I'm sorry, not the core, but the actual silicon chip is actually put together. Now, it's the minimum, it was said that the minimum um, silicon chip was going to be at least 12, a minimum of 12 cores where eight of the cores will actually be for high performance duties, which, and the other four will actually be for energy savings. So definitely keep that in mind. And again, this is from leak reports. So as things, as we get closer to the launch and get closer to the event, we'll actually get more in depth um, information as far as how the chipset will actually be utilized in the ARM Silicon MacBook. And also, according to leak reports, it is said that a new version of the current MacBook 16-inch Pro was is set to release in these upcurrent months. But that's only speculation as we haven't got anything permanent yet. And one thing is important to mention is the fact that it's not going to actually contain the ARM chipset in it is actually going to still going to attain the intel chip so again it's a leaked report it's not official yet so we just have to wait and see but if it is true it would actually be kind of interesting to see why if they're pushing the arm silicon chip right now which is going to be the future of their mac and mac line of computers it's interesting to see the fact that they still want to stay with the intel so that must it has to you have one has to wonder is it actually going to go away i mean intel as, as, as a whole is actually going to go away and the silicons are going to be the 100 percent way of going about making their new computers or is intel still going to hang around while the silicon chip actually picks up momentum and you know just as a comparison and the marketing um maneuver so one that's very interesting and one will have to wait and see and as i'm curious to see how that's going to go as well so we have to just we have to just stay tuned for that. So we all know about the iconic iPad Pro, the top notch, top dog of the iPad lineup, and we know that it's utilizing the A12Z Bionic chip with a 64-bit architecture, and that is very very important to keep in mind because there's something real special about this chip. Now, with this chip, we know that it's, this is what allows iPad Pro to be able to push the highest graphics, to, to give you the fastest multifunction um, function, uh, functionality of actually be able to video edit, music edit, draw, handle multiple apps simultaneously, and without losing speeds or losing performance. So, I want you guys to keep that in mind because this is something that's definitely going to be more important as we talk more about the arm silicon chip as a whole so definitely um keep watching and keep listening to what i'm talking about because you'll see how this is all coming together in a little bit so to tie that back to what we was talking about prior as far as with the ipad pro and the other intel chips now there's one which you remember and take note of that that the intel chips used with the mac current macbook products right now utilize a maximum of eight cores and their minimum being a four um, quad core. So we're talking about 12 with the silicon arm silicon chip and we're talking about eight to the all the way down to four, a maximum of eight and the lowest of four with the Intel chip. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. And the fact that they're saying that the arm silicon chip was actually gonna be a minimum a minimum of 12 cores so it, they can push this thing up to maybe 36 64 who knows what this chip is going to be but just the fact that it's going to have just 12 minimum it's already being projected to be more powerful than the intel chips currently used in the macbooks and then the imacs um today of today so that's something that will definitely be good and fun to see going down the road and so that will have to bring up a question was, will this make the Silicon MacBooks cheaper or will it be more expensive? Because with more, you would think with more power, 
you're gonna have to, you know, bump the price up. But at the same time, seeing that the ARM silicon chip is Apple's in-house product, you would think that it should bring the price down because they won't have to pay Intel that certain percentage of the sales for making a chip for their MacBooks since it's not they're no longer going with the third party they're actually staying in-house so that's gonna be fun to see so we just have to wait and see how that now as these are just leaked information we has also stated that they also leaked the, some of the projected prices for the ARM MacBook Pro and the regular ARM MacBook which was equivalent to the 12 inch regular MacBook that's already currently out now the price of the MacBook Pro 13 inch now was projected to be around 1099 while the price for the ARM MacBook which is equivalent to the 12 inches was projected to be going for 799 when it comes out and it's also they also stated too that it was the MacBook ARM the 12 inch would actually be replacing the MacBook Air which makes sense because out of all the launch events that have been going on this year, we have heard nothing about the MacBook Air. It's like the forgotten computer of the family. So I guess they're saying they're done with it. They're not even gonna talk about it. Just like the iPad mini, we're not even discussing it. So that's something to keep in mind too. But again, like I said, these are leaked reports. So as I wanna get excited and go over the moon about it, we just have to really wait and see and hope that what we're seeing right now, the information is being projected is actually gonna be 100% because if it is this is going to change up they be a game changer across the board for the iMac and MacBook products and all the other products going down the road but they all use their own chipset Apple's chipset any anyway with the A14 Bionic A12 Bionic so on and so forth so it's really no surprise that they're actually going to be you know putting their own line so why it's only right and only fitting that they use their own line of chips. They do it for every all the other products. So, yeah. So, we hope those prices stand up. If not, because if it does, it's actually going to fall in line with what's going on right now with all their other products where they actually tailored their prices to the market and everything is actually more affordable for that more um, budget conscious consumer can actually go and buy it and not overly expensive as in years prior. Now, one question I do have was given what's going on with their MacBook line and the fact that the silicon chip is actually being compared to the A12Z Bionic chip from the iPad Pro. So it makes me ask, will it actually be worth investing in the Apple um, silicon chip MacBook or should I just stick with the iPad Pro? Now. It's good to mention too that the price difference is really competitive with the ARM MacBook as it is very, very cost effective. But you also have to know too that with the iPad Pro, you can actually get the 11 inch or the 12.9, pretty much 13 inch for around $7.99 and $9.99, which is $100 shy of that $1,099 for the macbook pro 13 inch so one will have to wonder if i can get the same thing out of the ipad pro will it actually be beneficial to upgrading or switching out my current macbook or your current macbook and going with maybe the ipad pro as they did state that your next computer is actually not a computer with the ipad pro but I guess that would be an argument um, it, depending on who is having, who justifying that because Mac users uh, who, who love laptops, like in general, like I love laptops. So I guess you're really a hardcore laptop user, especially being an Apple user, you would definitely probably say, yeah, it's a no brainer that I don't care what they come. A Mac is a Mac, that like you gotta have one. So. For those people, I'm, I, I can understand that if you're them diehard Apple Mac fans, they're they're going to get a Mac no matter what. But for the average person who just like maybe just all tablet, then yeah, you might just get away with 
it's the iPad Pro. Now, this is I'm only going by what the leaked reports say. You can actually get away with doing your regular tasks and doing everything you need to do with the iPad Pro, seeing as was given if, if with the information given, they're actually pretty much neck and neck about the same specs and about the same um, capacity of what they can actually do. But and also too, if you're on the cost effective side or you're trying to stay on a certain budget, then maybe if the iPad Pro does everything you need to do, then you might not even have to worry about the silicon arm chip laptop. But who's to say that this is just the beginning and they're gonna, with this event coming up in November, hopefully, they might even launch some more lineup of stuff because their keynotes events and they do keep a good good job with keeping things under wraps and they only release what they want people to know so we just have to wait and see for that that's something definitely definitely something we need to be paid attention to so we got that so again the ipad pro a12z bionic chip is compared to the arm silicone chip that's the set that come out with the new line of iMacs and MacBook products. So you got to ask yourself this, if the information that has been released or leaked rather is correct, should you upgrade to the Mac or should you just go get the iPad Pro for hundred dollars less? Your decision. I mean, the iPad Pro 12.9, pretty much 13 inch, is the same size as the MacBook Pro as their 13 inch. So, and with the keyboard, with the smart um, keyboard, you pretty much got the same thing, technically, as the way they described it. And if you look at the tech specs, it's pretty much the same thing. So, now my question to you guys is do you think that the ARM silicon chip is actually? a good move or bad move for apple i'm glad i'm curious to see what your responses are so definitely put those answers to those que and that, to that question in the comment section so i can read and reply back all right guys this is the end i want to thank you guys for joining me and going through this discussion and trying to figure out all this craziness with the arm silicon chip and again i want to remind you to definitely subscribe to be notified of all new content and to be a, kept abreast of what's going on with the arm silicon macbooks and of course with the other line of imax and with the other other products coming out as i will be doing videos on those as well so definitely subscribe so you can be the first to be notified of when those videos drop and definitely hit the like icon for this so if you like this video and you got some value out of it i would definitely appreciate it and again this is Darren with Everyman Tech, and I hope you guys have a great day.